hello in this video i'm gonna teach you how to use the perspective tool in pixel app for mockups now this is a mockup okay downloaded it's just an image so i'm gonna teach you how to fix your own design on it and makes it look so real all right follow me now the first thing we're going to do is to get our image the kind of the image we're going to be using for the design okay so this is the image i got it already so just get any image actually this is the image i want to remove the tool the effect of this um, perspective on, on it oh, let me just let me just get a fresh image okay let me just get something here um all right so i'm going to pixel up to pick any square design because it's a square mock-up so let's get a square design to use okay so i want to use um i want to use um let me look for something to use all right let me use this all right i want to use this all right this is what i want to use so this is what we're going to do right now now you see if i reduce this and put it at this edge like this it's not going to look nice so i have to use perspective to 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 make it look real to 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 look bent or to slant like what the, the image you have now this is what we're going to do first of all you click on the image and then go straight to where you have the perspective to yeah right there click on it it's over there this is it perspective okay click on it and enable it enable now once you enable it now you have to work with the zoom click on zoom and then take it like this all right and this is what we're going to do now now start working on it are you seeing it now take it to that hedge there right there this one should be here now you see it's already fixed but then let's work on it let's zoom in so that we know what we're doing very well so use your hand and your eyes use your hand and your eyes all right i think that one is done click on the zoom click on zoom and then move then click on the zoom again to remove it then make sure you use your eyes very well yeah okay we're done with that edge let's go to this next edge you can see what i'm doing now make sure you are covering it very well if possible remove this okay make sure you are covering it very well okay that is that then let's go to this edge click on it again then remove put it back i think uh, we're almost done um okay i think we're almost done all right i think we're done with that so this is it are you seeing it now you see that the image is placed on top of the stuff you can see are you seeing it are you seeing it are you seeing it these edges are showing so it shows that there's something there so let's work on it are you seeing the edges are showing so let's work on it let's go click on the image again go, click on perspective and uh, let's move it a little bit to this end okay let's see aha i think it's okay now you can see that it's where it's fixed now even this top here we still have to work on it but let's leave it like that it's okay it's okay so you see this how to use perspective okay then we can even work on that image to put we can put our name there and also if i want to put there i can put your image there okay you can put it there actually so it's just to use the perspective tool to bend your checks hmm? uh, in my own case i i think i think i put something here to cover the design and a lot of work was done here but then the most important thing is what i've just done how to place your um design in a shape like this are you seeing it it's looking very nice right yeah so that is it uh, the next thing i'm going to be teaching is um how to use 3d mock-up i'm going to teach how to use 3d mock-up okay i'm going to teach how to use 3d mockups let's see something here 
the first thing I'm going to do, let me use this. Um, okay. Um, oh, let's say theory D logo theory D logo. All right, I'm coming. See, let me change the text. Let's put a reasonable text, something that is very nice. Can we use this? Let's just see. Let's just see. We can use it. Okay, theory D mockup. Okay, let me copy and make this mockup. Theory D logo mockup. Right, so is it so let me hard ways to it bold and then make this one also bold all right so this is what I want to do now I think I should remove the text add the uh, space into it four all right so this is what I want to do now so the first thing the first thing I want to do is this please look at Look at your screen very well. Now let me change this color to um, orange. Let me change this color to orange, and let me change this color to blue. Can we use this blue? Okay, let's use let's use this blue. All right, are you seeing it now? Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is to get a background. A background that we're going to use for the mock-up before then let me merge I'm going to merge these two stuff together I'm going to merge them together all right so to merge it you click on this icon here you see this stuff here this guy click on it once you click on it then you are light the what you want to merge together and click on this other guy here um, I mean this this guy. Okay, I mean this guy. Click on it, and then you will mesh both together. Now we have successfully meshed them together. Now let's go and look for a background to use. So let me go over here, back to um, Google Chrome, and then I'll search. I'll search for um, um, what's it called? glass um sorry let me use 3d 3d glass background you can get anything you want in on google so let me enable the image All right so this is images you can see a lot of them this is what i want us to use this one i want us to use so let's get it it's loading all right it's loaded so let's just quickly download it download all right we've got it already so let's go back to pixel app and import it now this is it import we're importing the logo that we just downloaded okay so it's going to be it's going to be in your browser your device it could be in download download I'm going to download to get it. That is it. Download. This is it. So these are design. These are mock-up. Mm. These are mock-up. Sorry, I don't want it to come like this. I want it to come with the original shape. So I'm going to use. I'm going to use this guy to bring it. Okay, this guy here. And then I'll click on from gallery, and then I'll get it. So that it it takes the old shape or oh, wow just like this now this is our own mock-up so how do we do it so that it looks 3d the first thing we're going to do is to add shadow to it shadow shadow all right add shadow to it that's the first thing and then then now we're going to use um we're going to use a uh, perspective the one we just used perspective all right let's enable it and see yes this is it so this perspective to okay okay so 
it's quite technical so you have to be very careful when you are working with perspective too so you have to you have to be very careful make sure that you know what you're doing um, with this i'm almost done with this i'm almost done now this is what i'm going to do next what i'm going to do next is to enable the 3d 3d um okay is this is a problem there's a problem here let's see i'm coming okay so this is what we're going to do um don't worry just put it like this and then we're going to rotate it anyway let's let's go to where we have rotates all right so then um we can now darken it yes then i think we should the depth is too much let us reduce the depth all right so then at the end the depth is still too much all right so let us now begin to work on other parts of it don't touch this rotate just you can work on this okay let's see the intensity i think i should inc increase it so that i know what i'm doing okay so this is it so let's go back again let's work on this so you have to you you just have to be working on it and then know what you're doing so okay so okay um mm, the shadow is already there you don't have to add some more shadow okay so uh, i think with this we are we are good to go okay we can still work on all right so this is okay i think we're almost done okay Take the intensity down. You have to be careful when you're working with this guy here because he can he can spoil your work. So um guys that see what I'm doing now. Okay, so Uh, I think I think we are done here. So this this is just a way to do 3D stuff with Pixel Lab. Let's rotate it a little. This this just I have to do. I have to do 3D stuff with Pixel Lab. Yeah. So I think it's all good to go. Yeah, you can see it very well. all right so you can do yours you can do anything with pixel lab but if you want to do professional you can use uh, photopia but other times i use do this with i will show you a work i did on on pix on um, pixel lab and i was paid very well because i use my tool properly this is it so this is something i did on pixel lab okay it's the same process just make sure you know how to use all the so it's the same process if, if i show you it's the same thing i did here there's nothing special here if i enable it you see that i used perspective to you can see you can see i use perspective to for office this guy's gonna be all right so that is it thank you so much for your time